Here we go. In my studio, I always have a um, whiteboard. I'm explaining a lot of things to not just for my student, but also to my clients. <laughs> like, oh, this is your eyebrows and this is look like this. So we're going to do this. Like we're going to remove it, this one and we're going to fix it this way. Whiteboard is very useful. <laughs> Re my recommend recommendation to have it in the studio so you can explain your clients um, a lot of things. Okay, so uh, what is the technique about the doing the eyebrow for one step, one pass? So we start from the tail, not actually necessary to start from the tail, but in exactly this case we're doing, uh, I've been doing this. So I start from the tail, I'm doing a lots of movements, and then I move a little forward. So I can say I start I, I did one and two, like two areas, one and two. So I I do as much as possible in like this direction, like this direction. On the bottom line, it needs to be a little bit more, so I apply more here, there. Then I start wiping it. So I remove, like I, in, in, my, in my head, it's just like I'm separating it for two sections. So I start remove this one, but I keep this one with, uh, I'm not wiping it yet. So I wipe in it. I see if, if there is an empty spot, so I apply more. I apply more until I'm not going to make it solid. No, as much as I can, because sometimes you can make it perfect, sometimes not, because the skin reacts and it's oozing a little bit. If it's oozing, like start bleeding, we need to keep the ink on the surface, let the skin to come, come down. Okay, so after I finish here, this guy has already become dry. So I start working here. I may end, I move a little bit forward. I move a little bit forward. So it's become area number three. So when I touch it here as much as I can, I touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, and leave it. Let it dry. So I'm come back here, wiping it, and I start to work here to create a very solid bottom line. And uh, da 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 and I apply more color here as much as I can, as much as skin allowed me during this guy is getting ready for me. Then here I put my finger with a dry uh, napkin on it. So I'm holding this part with my dry napkin and my finger to stretch it and also make it dry. So when I move here, I keep this part with my finger and dry napkin. And here we go. And we and we do this for the for the rest of the eyebrow. In the beginning, you remember I was doing it like in a different direction to create um, a soft, soft, soft beginning. And here, normally, we need to put a lots of a lots of a lots of color. So it's like one, two, three, four. Like in this eyebrow, it was like a five different section like a five step. So one step is maybe one, like tail of course is shorter, maybe three millimeters. Uh, in this area it's longer, like maybe one centimeter. Here we go. But as always in my head, I keep the design which I'm planning to have. Like for this eyebrow, it was like a eyebrow in eyebrow. So it's darker on the tail, and on the bottom line is supposed to be a lots of color. And the upper line is going to be softer. So when I'm doing this, I always keep in mind that this part needs to be darker and more intense. Got it? Okay. If you have, if you have more questions, please ask me. Uh, let's talk about how to do a permanent makeup. 
and I'm here to help you, support you. And if you are interested to get my online courses, please click the link below. Uh, if you have idea or exactly a question about what you want me to tell you something, explanation, if you have a question, please write the comments, contact me, and I will be happy to help you. Okay, I wish you the best in your professional life. Uh, it was thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, click the like, and <laughs> recommend my video to other artists. And see you very soon. With love, Joanna Dixon.